All right, hello everyone, this is Mr. Crozier, and today we're going to talk about uh, making some new kind of graphs in class. And what we did, what we did in class today is we started off and we, we made some graphs that we've known, we've done before, like y is equal to 3x minus 1, and we've graphed it. Then we moved on to some, our, our new graphs that have exponents in it, y equals 2, but now the x variable is up here in the exponent. And what that does is it's going to change our graphs from linear equations to what we did last semester into exponential graphs that curve. So this is our goal today. Our goal is to, to make these graphs, and we're going to do that by starting them on a sheet of paper um, with the table. So you want to get a blank sheet of paper, fold it, uh, call the assignment eight graphs, and we're going to make our tables here, and then we're going to turn around and graph them. So uh, today in class, we got the first three done. So I'll try and do that here with you now. All right, uh, first equation. Well, we've seen this before. That's y is equal to mx plus b. has an intercept and a slope. And, and we started off by graphing a table. If I take these and plug them in, um, 3 times 0 is 0, minus 1 is negative 1. Plug in a 3, 3 times 1 is 3, minus 1 is 2. Plug in a 2 is 6, minus 1 is 5. And if we go backwards, we plug them in, that's negative 4 and negative 7. So now we have a set of points that we could graph. So if we turn around and graph them, let's see here, um, these points would be, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and start right here in the middle because it's easiest. And 0, negative 1 is here, uh, 1, 2 is here, and 2, 5 is way up there. And if I plot the other ones, um, let's see, negative 1, negative 4, um, negative 2, negative 7. There's my graph. Um, whoops, I got this one in the wrong spot. It needs to be down there. Um, Straight line, intercept of 1, then up, or negative 1, then up, 1, 2, 3, over 1, 1, 2, 3, over 1. And if you have a highlighter or something, you want to go back and go over your lines just to make it stand out. Put arrows at the top, arrows at the bottom, and name it to y equals 3x minus 1. That way when someone looks at your graph, they know that the name of this line is y equals 3x minus 1. All right, now we're going to move on to the new type of graph, and this is the new material for the semester. It has exponents. So we're going to do the same kind of work with the exponents. Um, 2 to the 0 is 1. 2 to the 1st is 2. 2 to the 2nd is 4. Doing the negatives are reciprocal. 2 to the negative 1 is 1 half. 2 to the negative 2 is 1 fourth. Now we're going to plot those sets of points. And let's go ahead and start with these ones here are going to be the easiest. 0, 1 is here, and 1, 2, whoops, and that's right, 0, 1 is here, and then over to 1, up to 2, here, over to 2, up to 4 is here. And if you notice, these are going up, but they're in a curve. So you want to make sure you have a curved line here. It's like a letter U. It goes up. Then what about going backwards? Well, Negative 1 is a half, and that would be right here, and negative 2 is a fourth. These are also curving, but the one thing to remember here is that these points are always getting smaller, but they're never going to go to 0. If I keep cutting this in half, it's going to be 1 over 8, 1 over 16, 1 over 32, never to 0. So we want to add in two things to our graph. Um, we have our graph here, which is fine, and that is y is equal to 2 over x, but there's another part to our graph we want to make. We want to make this line right here. I'm going to draw it right here, and I'm going to make it a dashed line. Oops, you can't see that very well, but I made it a dashed line. And this dashed line is called an asymptote, and it's at y is equal to 0, and this is the line that this graph approaches. This line keeps getting closer and closer and closer and closer to 0, but these fractions up here these fractions up here will never touch zero. They keep getting closer. So this graph really has two parts. It has the equation graph, but it also has this line over here. It's kind of like the it's kind of like a fence. You can keep getting closer and closer and closer to it, but you can't cross over. All right, uh, let's do one more. We did one more in class today. Um, three to the x. Plug these in. This is one, three. 9, 1 third, 1 ninth. All right, if we go ahead and graph those, let's see here. 0 would have been 1. 
one would have been three, two would have been nine. And again, it's curved up. Then going backwards, these little fractions, negative one is a fraction one third. Then negative two is a smaller fraction. Then the fractions just keep getting smaller. They don't go away though. So we have two parts to the graph. We have a blue line going this way. That's dotted, dash, sorry. Y is equal to zero. Again, that's called the asymptote. That is the, it's like the border. It's the border. You can't cross that line right there. And then we have this line going up right here, which is the graph. Y is equal to 3 to the X. All right, so basically it comes down to this. In semester one, we did linear equations that made straight lines. Equation or semester two, we threw an exponent in there, and it changes the shape of this graph from a straight line to a curve that goes up forever, and it comes down close to zero. All right, we'll work on the rest of them tomorrow.